Well, roughly 40 languages are spoken right here in Siouxland, and interpreters ensure those voices can be heard and understood. KCAU 9 reporter Nick Wilson tonight shares why Siouxland needs more interpreters and what the community is doing to help out. Local organizations say bilingual people play an essential role in Siouxland's diverse population. Cynthia Quesada Lemos provides translations for people at the Mary J. Tralia House. The organization has six translators, and she says they're always looking for more. She says helping people without the right translator is challenging. Sometimes if we don't have somebody that speaks their language, um, then it's hard for them to communicate and for us to communicate and understand what they need. So when we don't have somebody in person, we use an interpreter over the phone. And then so it's always good to be able to understand what they actually need to get that accomplished for them. The Tralia House offers translations for English, Spanish, French, Vietnamese, and Somali. But Quesada Lemos says there's much more to translating than just knowing the language. There's a difference between uh, trans when they request a translator and an interpreter. So for interpreter, it's actually just the verbal communication, and a translator is actually just the written communication, so like documents. Western Iowa Tech Community College is launching an interpreter program. The Dean of Career and Technical Programs, Michael Rolina, says in addition to technical skills, being a successful translator also requires critical thinking. We'll also teach them all the ethics behind it because that's a big component. How you become a third party, a neutral third party in the situation, not to get your own emotion involved in it. Rolina says the one-year program will start in August this year and students are required to already be bilingual. Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.